Hello everyone, and today we're going to be making a video on how to change your theme file in Windows Vienna. It's quite straightforward. First of all, you've got to make sure that the Windows Vienna skin pack is installed before you start any of this, so... Anyway, that's about it. Let's get started. So what we want to do now is open up your web browser. I'm using Yandex since it backports a later version of Chrome to Vista. I believe it's Chrome 57. Let's close all this down, that's unnecessary. So what we want to do is click on YouTube. Wait for it to load, of course. Type in the search bar Windows Vista. And my channel should appear straight away, which is quite nice. If it doesn't, go and filter and select channel, and then it should appear. Click on my channel. Then click on Windows Vienna Update Center, which is in my link section on my channel art. There we go, it's all loaded now. As you can see, I've updated it slightly. Moved the logo in the middle now. And also I put Windows Dunes is now released. Look. There we go. You want to scroll down. Find themes and select get them here which should take you to the link, the download link and then select whichever one you want because this applies to both of them right click then select download a zip I'll be back once it's downloaded now that the file was completed downloading go to downloads and select open folder or shown folder rather exit the browser then we right click on the window I mean the file and select extract all hit extract again so now what you do is that you drag and drop the file the extracted file to the desktop then exit the window and now we move on to stage one so now we move on to step one double click on the folder double click again go to boot logo then go to tune up utilities click continue click continue testing Click Personalize the Appearance of Windows. Go to Select a new startup logo. Then select Create New. Go to Desktop, which is where the folder is located. And click Windows Students Themes file, Theme File, whatever the hell it's called. Then double click that folder again. Then go to Boot Logo. Then click Open. Call it whatever you like, I'm just going to call it Dunes. And there we go, look. Then we select Apply. And there we go, so next time you boot the computer up, that should be the logo instead of the default Vista one. Here's a large little preview of it. I'm just going to play it quickly. There we go, that's how it will look. So now what we do is we exit all of these windows. And then we move on to step 2. Now we move on to step 2, so we double click the folder again, then this folder, then we go to file operation animation, right click on 7 copy, delete animation, click continue, or allow whatever, click yes, then open colours, and there we go, we got all the colours out. Color, now we change color 1 Then we change color 2 
then we change color free. Then the font color. Doesn't matter if it's lowercase or capitals. So then what we do after that is we click modify animation, which requires a restart. So I'll be back once the PC is rebooted. It's actually a virtual machine, whatever. I'll be back once the virtual machine is restarted. So now I move on to step three, which is changing the log on wallpaper. So again, we navigate to the Windows Dunes folder. Let me do it again. Let me go to log on wallpaper. Move the window to one side. Then we go to start. Then start typing logon studio. Then hit enter. Click continue. Then drag and drop the dunes logon wallpaper into logon studio. Then click save. Then click apply. I'll select it first, then click apply. There we go, it's now applied. By the way, that's water, not dunes. I don't know why I decided to do that, but I did. So there we go, that's stage 3 over and done with. Now we just close all the windows again. Now we move on to the best part, changing the theme file. So we navigate to the Windows Dunes folder. Click the folder again. Go to theme file. And go to start. Move the window to the side first. Go to start. Go to computer. Then we go to local disk. Windows. Then we find a folder called Resources. There it is. Double click it. Then we go to Themes. Select the files inside the Theme File folder and drag and drop them to Themes. And there we go, the themes have now been drag and dropped to the Resources folder. So now we close these windows. Go to Personalize. Go to window color and appearance, not desktop background like I did there. Go to window color and appearance. Then go to open classic appearance properties for more color options. Then we select the one that has the orangey color. And there we go, the theme file has now been applied. I'll just show you what the theme looks like first. It's basically the Windows Vienna theme but just orange. And that's about it. So now we move on to step 5. So here we are on step 5 which is changing the wallpaper. So now we navigate to the Windows Dunes folder. Then we do it again. Then we select wallpaper. Move the window to one side. Then we go to start. Go to computer. Go to the local disk. Go to Windows. And go to web. Go to wallpaper. And then we drag and drop this wallpaper, the June's wallpaper, to the wallpapers folder. Then we click allow. And there we go, it's successfully been moved. And there we go, now we just close this window, right click, then click personalize, go to desktop background, and then we select the wallpaper, then we go to window color and appearance, then we select orange, then go to show more color options, then we make it more of a purpley color. And there we go, look. 
Let me change the color intensity down a little bit because it looks a bit too overdone. And now I move on to step six, which is changing the branding. So now I move on to the sixth and final stage, which is changing the branding. So we navigate to the dunes folder. Then we go to start. Ignore what I'm doing, just go to start. Go to computer. Go to system properties just to have a look at the old Windows Vienna orb, which is the current one. Then we go to Windows Dunes. I'm using Ultimate, so I'm going to use the Ultimate one. Then we go to start. Go to computer. Go to local disk. Go to Windows. Right click on the branding folder and rename it branding.vienna so whenever you want to go back just rename it branding and then rename the dunes one branding.dunes if you get what I mean so now we drag and drop the branding folder for dunes to the, to the directory the windows directory and there we go we're done so now we exit all the windows, then we go to start, we go to computer, go to system properties, and there we go, look. It's now been enabled. So just for fun, we're just going to rate the computer just to show off the file copy animation, or file operation animation, whatever it is. There it is, look. So, now we just show off the basic theme. This is what the basic theme looks like, the basic theme for dunes partially the same anyway there we have it it was quite a simple procedure this was it wasn't too difficult hopefully you didn't find it too difficult anyway I do hope this worked for you I hope you came this far to getting it all complete like this so all I can say now is thank you very much for watching this video I do appreciate it this took me a long time to make. This video, well not video, the theme file took me a while to make. It took me a couple of months to make. It takes a long time to make these. Because I've got other things to do. I can't. I don't only have this to do. I've got loads of videos to make. So I've got, I've recently had that Windows 7 video I had to quickly make. Which I, I think did pretty well actually. So yeah, thank you very much for helping the Windows 7 video I recently made succeed and see you in the next video goodbye